Welcome. In front of me is a Realme GT, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now for this process, we will need a SIM card with a pen on it. So if you don't have a pen, you will need to set it up on presumably unlocked device. And from there, just pop it into here. Now, before I begin the process, I will just quickly show you the device right here is locked. So there we go. There is the pattern to unlock it. And if I click on the X, it will also give me the option to unlock it using Google account, which is right here. So we get started. Let's grab our SIM card, pop it into the device. There we go. So I'm going to insert it now. Hopefully it won't fall out. There go. So what we can do now is simply lock the device. Let's open up the tray. And there we go. So let's pull that down. It brings our, pulls down the notification. So from here, click on the settings. Uh, disregard this pop-up right here. And what you wanna do is scroll down to additional settings. And there we go. And then again, scroll down to backup and reset, erase all data, factory reset, and then once more, erase all data, erase all data. And this will begin factory reset of the device. So this will take about a minute or so. I uh, just give it some time. And once it's completed, we'll then be back in the setup screen with the device well, basically unlocked. So I'm gonna come back once the factory reset has finished. And additionally, you can take out the SIM card you don't want to have it in there it doesn't really matter the sim card has already done its job so let it run through And as you can see, factory reset has been now finished. So let's just run through the setup. Now at this moment, I'm gonna be skipping everything that I can, but I'll point out one little difference here. So number one, you can skip Wi-Fi connection right now, which normally would tell you if you try to skip it that you need to connect because of the way the device was reset. And let's continue. And there we go. So as you can see, I just went through the entire setup without any kind of need to verify anything. And like I said, before the device is now fully unlocked. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.